couple of years with the Jazz, mostly in the D League with the Salt Lake City Stars. He played well last night on the floor, and Bradley with the first swat of the night. It's a good way to start for him, Bowler. High lob, Cousins, a beautiful pass, and again, for a big, that's where you want it. Cousins missed the layup, but I like the fact that he's a probing point guard. He gets in that paint right here, nice pass. How about Bradley the finish? Pass. Yes, sir. And T is a big, I mean, you have to like that. Bradley's reshaped that body, as we, we've spoken many times. Uh, but he was able to take the, the physical contact and still get the ball up and in. Bradley, who runs the paint and follows the miss for two more. Bradley was seven. Jazz by three. Five minutes left. And we're tied at 35. Bradley back on the court. Draws a double team. Hook shot and two. Count it. And he'll be at the line for a three-point play. See, there's been a few of those on both sides of the floor. I like some of these plays, but no one can finish the ball. There's... Bradley denying the drive by the Cavaliers. McGrew comes up with it. Inside, nice pass, and a bucket by Bradley. Good for him. That's good to see. He's getting more confident down there, knowing what moves to make, what position to put himself in. Take a look at these shoes and tell us, why so bright? Uh, I don't know. Uh, just, just a pair I had to wear today. Uh, it was, it was nice, and I just had to put them on. Hey, summertime, right? Summertime vibes. All right, thanks so much, Colin, for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Tony's done a great job of running down the floor and and beating the other big down and maybe having a, an angle to get to get a lob. Um, also, if he gets a quick post up, not to mess around with it. If he has a good shot, take it. If not, kick it out so the Jazz can get a three. Right there. How about that? One tap, make it two for a bucket. KK, you have more with Tony. Yeah, guys, we saw that impromptu fast break and him running the floor last night. Well, tonight I was even talking with some of the Jazz coaching staff. I said, wow, Tony Bradley is bringing it tonight. They said, well, that's what he needs to do. We need him to set the tone. I was sitting there with Donovan Mitchell and Royce O'Neal, George Niang, and we talked about Tony Bradley. They all said he is looking solid. Royce has been working out with him last week. He said the work that he's put in off the court, the way he's moving up and down the court, he's moving so well, he's in shape, and he's lost about 10 to 12 pounds, guys. McGrew, down low, good matchup here. And the shot rolls off, Lawrence with a rebound, can't finish. And it bounces out of bounds, last touch by the Cavs. Big pass inside, yeah. McGrew, how he got that ball on the spot, and Bradley was able to put his feet underneath him and score that bucket down low. He can get decent with that five to 10 foot range. Uh, Derek Favors type shot, be consistent with it. Well, you saw him, T, just try to shoot a three.